Welcome, I'm Alex Franco and I'm the ALX Trainer, Coach, Advisor and Senior Consultant at Simwell. Today I'll be talking about using Excel with ALX. How do you use Excel in ALX? Well, there's many ways to do so. First of all, you could import or export the actual scenario. Uh, for example, you would use an export to collaborate or share with somebody else in your team or organization the model. Or you could import a data sets or tables into the ALX framework so that ALX can read it. Now, keep in mind, each component, meaning GFA, network optimization, simulation, transportation optimization, will have its own framework slash scenario. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you an example uh, how Excel is being used through exporting one scenario under simulation. Here, if you go ahead and export scenario, I'm gonna choose a location for it, which is, which is perfectly here. And then I'm just gonna open it up once it's uh, downloaded. And here you go. So here is uh, the Excel sheet, uh, the model where, where you exported but you could also import right back into ALX. Now let me, let's me let take a look at a few of these tables. Let's take a look at customers. By taking a look at customers, you can see the framework of the customers table. This is the, the frame or the status set you'll need to use in order to import into ALX. And as you notice, we also have the locations table. So let's take a look at how this connects to the locations table. Now, this is definitely one of my favorite parts of, of, uh, of actual Excel sheet because here you can use your data information, for example, city, region, or country, uh, or the main address, or even zip code to actually find uh, lats and longs. When I would do this back in my day uh, using Google lats and long finders, it would take me approximately a day just to download about 10,000, 10,000 being uh, lats and long location searches. Uh, Google had like a limitation to it. So it's kind of nice that, let's just say you don't have your lat here. Uh, for example, for one of these, you could put here true. And once it imports right back into ALX, it would actually find the location for you, saving you a lot of time and effort. Uh, something that would, about something with 35,000 customers would take me about four days back in the day here. It would probably take me a few hours. So that's big, definitely a big time saver. Also, uh, under demand, here's how that table looks. Here's where we're using a periodic, periodic demand to express uh, how much quantity and per order it's taking and taking into account. Um, also, like the lead time and if back order policy is allowed. But we also have historic demand, which I find uh, a little bit uh, a little bit more uh, useful because you can take in consideration an organization historic demand. Uh, and this is great because you could take uh, in, into account its volatility be between the high season and the low season, which I find it very useful and accurate to use. So let's take a look at one more table here that I find useful in Excel. And here we have, under the experiments uh, table, we also have our dashboard. So you can easily import a, a dashboard you typically use. Uh, this way you're not spending a lot of time doing that later on. So as you all know, the main use of Excel is, is the data really pulling, the cleaning, and the formatting. So, so let's just say I was wanting to download uh, data. I could also use the get data function here. And I can connect to another workbook to pull that data from there. I could also use XML, JSON, PDF, text. You could even connect to a database here and query uh, that data into getting the framework. So this is another way where you could actually pull from other locations into into Excel and then it import into ALX once it has the right structure for it. For those that have uh, some Excel querying knowledge, then this is a great way for you to work in. And I think it's very useful since Excel is a, a commonly used program application that is uh, you know available to anybody. So let's go ahead and save that now. I'm going to save a copy, call it part two now. There you go, part two. 
So now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go back into my model and I'm going to go ahead and import that scenario. I imported every table. And so it just takes a few seconds. But this is a great way how you can collaborate and share your model with everybody else. And there you go. There you have it. So here's a way how Excel works with uh, ALX. Um, another way you could also use it with ALX is for results. So let's say I was to run this result. And I like my results, right? I could save it. And I could export these results back out using uh, an Excel framework uh, just by clicking on any of these here in the bottom left. And then you can export to Excel that particular piece of the dashboard. Now, keep in mind before I, I, I cut out for today on this video, you could also select other projects to import. So if this is not the only way to import. Uh, obviously, there's so, several many ways where you can connect directly to any database out there, customize it, uh, address, and just log in and import directly from the database once the framework is set up there. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Want to know more? Follow us on Simwell on LinkedIn, where we have blogs, webinars, videos, case studies, or go to our website, www.simwell.io. If you want to talk to someone about your business challenge, our services, or get an estimate, a demo, or get an evaluation period going for you and your team, feel free to reach out and schedule a call. I hope this video was helpful and informative. Thanks for watching.